Hello and welcome to this next video in which I will be talking about what I expect to see in the next version of Android. Uh, in terms of what I think it's going to be called, uh, we're now on the letter L and uh, on the internet I've seen a lot of rumours about Android uh, either 4.5 or 5.0 being called uh, Lollipop. Uh, and I think that's a good name. I think it's something that Google could take a uh, great advantage of. Whether it's going to be a branded type of lollipop or just lollipop on its own, I think it's something that we'll have to wait and see. Um, another name that I've heard rumoured is Android Licorice All Sorts. I myself don't really like licorice, but a lot of people seem to do. And I think if Google went down that road, uh, again, it would be something that we'll have just have to wait and see. In terms of what I think the, the new version of Android will bring to users on a daily basis is that Android 4.5 or 5.0, whichever one Google tries goes for, will probably be a 64-bit version of Android, which will bring it in line with iOS and Apple with their 64-bit version of their operating system. And I think that what it will do for users is make games more immersive. It will make them much easier to program for. It will make the experience experiences that those games particularly have to offer it'll make the software more fluid and responsive and i also think that it's going to bring a lot of benefits and long-term future proofing to devices that will run a 64-bit version of android um, i also think that it's going to bring uh, probably uh, some heavy emphasis on home automation. Uh, I think that that's going to be baked into the OS because Google now owns Nest and it's starting to it's selling that on the Google Play Store. And I think that that's something that's going to continue, whether it's a uh, a uh, standalone home automation software or it's baked into the OS. I think that's something that we're definitely going to see in the next version of Android. And also, um, I think that we're probably going to see a a, a sort of uh, Android version of continuity that we've seen in iOS 8 uh, which I explain in my first impressions of iOS which I will leave it leave a link in this video in the description below I also think that so what that basically means is that if you have an Android phone and you're using say for example a uh, uh, an application that's also on Chrome OS which is the other operating system that Google has for computers uh, you'll be able to start doing something on the phone and then go to the computer and if you want to make use of that bigger screen, that bigger canvas, you can do and you'll, it will pick up from where you've left off. And I think that's something that we're probably likely to see in the next version of Android. I also think that we're probably going to see um, uh, more uh, emphasis on uh, biometric security so that's fingerprint scanning irish recognition i think that's something that we'll see because if that's baked into the os it makes security much much more better and more uh, user friendly and more approachable and it means that your device is is protected because it's protected with the two things that you have that are unique to you which is your fingerprint and your iris uh, so that's probably something that we'll see in the next version of android um, also, I think what we'll also see is the ability, like in iOS 8, uh, where you can respond to, for example, if you get a text message, you can pull that notification down, you can then expand it, and then respond to it on the notification shade. We'll probably see something like that in, our, in Android 4.5 or 5.0, whichever one Google goes for, for, obviously. And we'll probably also see some other improvements and we'll probably see Google start to tackle what what Apple suggested was that 99% of all all mobile malware is Android based and I think what we'll see is Google start to tackle that stereotype and try to uh, basically say we're, we're, we're working to improve this situation and make malware a thing of the past so that it's not such a problem and it's not something that's affecting a lot of people so i think security improvements and security management will be a big thing in android 4.5 or 5.0 so i want to now know what do you expect to see in the next version of our android what do you want to see please leave these in the comment section below if you liked this video please hit that like button if you want to subscribe to me and see more videos like this, I will also leave these. Uh, I will also encourage you to subscribe. And if you want to follow me on any social network, I will leave these in the description below as well. And I hope to all see you in a future video. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.